Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you to this solemn Eucharistic celebration. It's a very special and unique day for all of us, especially to all our graduates. Dear friends, today we are celebrating the graduation of our general nursing, B.Sc., P.P.B.Sc. and M.Sc. nursing students. lives for his goodness and blessings over us who brought hope through even the toughest of times, strengthening us to reach our purposes, accompanying us with great love and care and watching over us with his mercy and grace. You're Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you to this solemn Eucharistic celebration. It's a very special and unique day for all of us, especially to all our graduates. Dear friends, today we are celebrating the graduation of our general nursing, B.Sc., P.P.B.Sc. and M.Sc. nursing students as we congratulate 376 graduates of our school and college of nursing. With a heart full of gratitude, we praise God for His amazing power and work in our lives, for His goodness and blessings over us who brought hope through even the toughest of times, strengthening us to reach our purposes, accompanying us with great love and care, and watching over us with His mercy and grace. Life is an echo. What you send out comes back. What you sow, you reap. What you give, you get. Each of us have unlimited power to care and to love that can make the biggest difference in the quality of others' lives. Let us then allow the Lord to mold us and make us His vessels of healing presence wherever we are. Let us take it as a challenge to make our life a masterpiece. Let Jesus be our model and guide. 
today we implore god's choicest blessings upon each one of your dear graduates that you may continue to ignite the world by your care and compassion and be the healers by your touch and soothing words inspired by the motto heal and comfort may your presence bring joy to the weary souls make the broken whole and may you be a blessing to all those who need you the most may jesus the divine healer in this eucharist touch us heal us transform us and use us as his instruments to reflect his light and love with this prayer in our heart let us join a graduate to celebrate this eucharist we accord a cordial welcome to our dear bishop most reverend peter paul saldana president of fmci who will offer this holy eucharist for us let us rise for the entrance hymn In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, it's a day of great joy for us when we reach a particular stage and complete with satisfaction. the part of achievement is also a celebration and rejoicing we need these feasts and celebrations to ennoble our spirit enhance within us the great zest for life as we are here today to pray for the nurses who are graduating from this great institute that they may be strengthened and protected throughout their life today in them 
to celebrate this uh, this holy eucharist in a worthy manner let us call to mind our own failures and ask pardon I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Turn our hearts to you, eternal Father, and grant that seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy.